Hey guys, Drew from Fighting the Valve, back again with Jacob. Jacob and I at my home gym, we're just doing a little training. We're actually working a boxing slip drill, which is a pretty standard boxing drill. You're going to see it in almost every school in the United States. For those of you who are training in a system, a self-defense system, if you're training in Judo, Wing Chun, Kali, if you're working in a system that doesn't train boxing, I highly recommend that you start to work on your boxing skills. It's a fundamental skill that everybody should train, particularly if you're training for street self-defense. Not only is boxing a great martial art in terms of offensive striking, learning how to move your body, generate power, and proper punching mechanics, when you grow accustomed to dealing with a boxer, his timing, his speed, and the fact that he doesn't telegraph his punches, and you're successful working with a boxer, you know you're going to be successful in the street. So I can't recommend enough to work on your boxing and your boxing fundamentals. So what we're going to do here is take a fundamental boxing drill and we're going to take it to the next level. We're actually going to alter the drill to make it a little more street applicable. So we're going to walk through step by step. I'll show you the passive boxing movements and what we're doing and then how we modify that to make this a little bit more applicable for street self-defense. All right, Jacob. So the first thing we're doing is combination is one, two, three, two. So it's jab, cross, hook, cross. Nothing real high tech about this. So he's going to give me the jab, cross, hook, and the cross. First thing he's going to do is I'm going to return a jab and he's going to slip it. So he slips. He's loading his rear leg. He's going to come with a cross, the hook, and the cross. Standard follow-up. Has to do with body mechanics and the way in which he's loaded when he makes this passive defensive movement. The next thing I throw is the lead hook. He bottom leaves. Two, three, two. He's loaded to throw that rear hand again. As he comes out of that weave, he loads up on that rear hand. Last thing I do is I throw a straight right. Jacob's going to shoulder roll, covering his chin with his shoulder. Follows up with 2-3-2 two, two again. So again, very simple, very straightforward. We're going to run through it one more time slow. 1-2-3-2, two, two, he slips the jab. 2-3-2, two, two, he bottom leaves. 2-3-2, two, two, he shoulder rolls. 2-3-2. Two, Run-of-the-mill, ordinary, everyday boxing combination. You'll see thousands of these on YouTube. There's no shortage of boxing drills. Now we're going to show you where in Fighting the Bob we're going to take this to the next level. So in boxing, he's performing a passive movement, a passive movement, and a passive movement. Fighting is very much like a musical composition. You have so much time and so many beats per composition. What we're going to do here, instead of wasting our time with a passive movement during a full beat, we're either going to intercept that movement or use a limb destruction to create a half beat that can you know, really adversely affect my opponent's timing, not to mention we're trying to punish him the whole time that we're fighting. We don't want to waste a full beat doing something passive. So here, the same combination. Jab, cross, hook, cross. As I throw this jab, he splits the entry, intercepts and hits me. He follows up, two, three, two. I throw this lead hook, he's going to use a limb destruction. Half beat, two, three, two. When I throw this rear hand, he's going to shoulder roll, but instead of passively shoulder rolling, he's going to throw the finger jab out toward my eye. Two, three, two. Even if he doesn't score the finger jab, if he gets me anywhere in the face, he's going to create that, what we call, motor set. And anytime you disturb somebody's timing via pain, they become motor set for a tenth of a second, their body will freeze, that gives you the opportunity to capture that moment in time and continue striking. So again, we'll run through that one more time slowly. Jab, cross, hook, cross. He splits the entry. Two, three, two. He's going to destroy the limb. Backhand. Two, three, two. Wampak Yuji into the eye. Two, three, two. So now we're stealing counters from several different martial arts. One is Jun Fan, Jeet Kune Do is where the Wampak Yuji is coming from. The limb destruction obviously is Filipino Kali. Many systems, including boxing, split an entry. So you're going to see that in Southeast Asian arts as well as Western boxing. And you don't even have to use these techniques. What's important is understanding this training methodology, taking techniques that you use, and blending them in with this style of the drill. So that's it, guys. Take it, train it. Until next week, train hard, train smart, train for a lifetime.